All right, welcome back guys. Another awesome plugin for OBS as part of the OBS Super User Guidebook. It's called Source Record. It allows you to do individual recordings of any source inside of OBS. That's in addition to streaming and recording with the core OBS tools. Let's take a look after this. What's up everybody? Just want to remind you guys that you can get a free copy of the OBS Super User Guidebook in the links below. You can pick up a free copy on Amazon and only 10% of our viewers are actually subscribed. So if you want us to make more videos like this, hit the red subscribe button, hit the like button. And if you have any questions about this video or you think we can do better, let us know in the comments below. All right, so let's take a look at Source Record. When you get to the Source Record OBS plugin, you'll see that you can download it for Windows, Mac and Linux. Windows has an auto installer, which makes installation really easy. If you have any trouble installing the plugin, check out the book, which walks you through it. Once it's installed, it's essentially a filter. So the OBS interface isn't going to change at all. What you're going to do is you're going to go to a source that you want to record and right click filters. What this plugin does is it allows any source in OBS to be recorded with a variety of options. So let's take a look at those options and then we'll talk about how you might use it. So we click the plus button under the effect filters and we are going to choose source record. Once we've done that, we basically can choose a recording mode. And what happens here is you can choose to always record this source, just record it when you're streaming, just record it when you're recording, just rec record it when you're streaming or recording, or when you have enabled the virtual camera, the virtual camera output. So essentially, this is your option to automatically record specific sources independently of the recording options available in OBS. So if you're doing a five camera shoot, all five cameras can be recorded to your local hard drive. And so we'll click, we'll click just when we're recording. You can choose the path, the file formatting, and the recording format. So for example, we'll choose like MP4, and then down here we can choose the bit rate, which obviously we would want a pretty high bit rate, right? Because this is the local recording. Although keep in mind, if you're doing lots of these, if you're doing four or five cameras at the same time, that is going to be a lot of processing power. And you got to keep your eye on the stats inside of OBS. You have to keep your eye on the Windows Task Manager or the Mac Activity Monitor to make sure you're not pushing your computer too far. Now that we're getting into a lot of the different plugins available inside of OBS, I want to just foreshadow one that's coming up soon in the control section, which is called filter hotkeys. Filter hotkeys allow you to toggle on and off a filter, which source record is using a hotkey, using your Elgato Stream Deck or your keyboard or mouse. So if you choose always for recording, you could actually toggle the on and off for recording with a hotkey. So just something to think about. I, I would imagine most people are going to be streaming something already or recording something already. And then these are isolated recordings for post-production anyway. But this is a very easy filter, very easy plugin to use with OBS. It's very powerful, which is why it's included in the OBS Super User Guidebook. Let me know if you guys have any questions below and we'll move on to our next video. So this is an amazing tool that makes OBS usable by high-end professionals who want to record multiple cameras at the same time for post-production, etc. So simple tool, but really powerful. And if you know how to use it, it'll start changing the way you think about your post-production materials and what you're capable of doing inside of OBS. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.